Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. They take on the Giant or took on the Giants this past Saturday. Jack and I watched the game from the wonderful Fink's restaurant in Suffern, New York. We are chowing down on some corn souffle, uh, cheesesteaks, cheese delicious lemonade. stuff. But we look up and we say, oh, wow, here comes Aaron Rodgers in a Jets uniform. Looked kind of weird. He's still in green, but something felt off to it. But once they started playing, it was the same Aaron Rodgers to me. A lot of a lot of those classic, you know, quick runs and jumps off jump off one foot, like quick throws. The takeaway I had, and let me know if you agree with this, Jack. I sort of regretted not taking Garrett Wilson in our fantasy draft because I think that this combination between Rodgers and Garrett Wilson could wind up being the best in the, in the league by the end of the season. He's going to get a million targets. Yeah, I mean, it was, we were sitting there in, in Fangs. I was enjoying my cheesesteak, looking over my team. I go, oh, I got a pretty good squad. You know, RB1 with a, well, to be named later. And then I took a receiver over Garrett Wilson. Very questionable call. And, and we're watching the game. And I wasn't, you know, what was Rodgers? He was 5 of 5 of 8, 5 of 9. 5 of 8, 47 he's, he's, yards and a touchdown. He looked good, but it was just, I felt like, I felt like Wilson was targeted like 10 times on one drive and then caught a touchdown. So it felt like it, I it, was upset to pass on him. What have we seen from Aaron Rodgers in his career before? When he's with Devontae Adams and the Packers, a lot of targets to the number one receiver and then dump offs. And that's kind of what you got a little bit in this sneak peek, just a sneak peek of preseason. You know, it's also preseason, but this could also be the worst thing in the world for Jets fans because now they see, oh, Gary Wilson, he's, he's targeted. He's the only guy on that team. Let's triple him. Let's double him. Let's not let him beat us. I he's think he's out. good enough to bust take alert. that on. Bust. He's not AB. Ziggy, let me ask you real quick. I see, I see this, potential bust alert. This Garrett Wilson-Rodgers connection, we did our, our quarterback wide receiver duos going into the year, and I had from 6-1, to one, Hertz Brown, Tua Tyreek, Stafford Cup, Burrow Chase, Allen Diggs, Cousins Jefferson. Can How high up that list can you see Rodgers and Garrett Wilson finishing by the end of the year? I think the absolute ceiling, you can't put it anything lower than number one. Uh-huh. Like the, the fact is you're talking about a guy who everyone agrees is a top 10 wide receiver, maybe more a guy, everyone who agrees is a top five quarterback. I mean, because Mahomes doesn't have that elite receiver that he can throw the ball to, there's no one on Aaron Rodgers level with a wide receiver like Garrett Wilson. And I mean, you saw it in the preseason game, right? Like I get that it's preseason. We're not going against the best of the best, but that touchdown pass he threw was unreal. Oh, and Garrett moment. Wilson was able to go up, get the ball, come down with it with a defender draped over. And so I don't want to gas this up. Like, you know, Rodgers played well. He played like Aaron Rodgers. Um, but the first pass of the game, just a you know, quick throw to Garrett Wilson. Corners 10 yards off. Pick up pick up a first down. Yeah, and you and I are like, like, oh, come oh, on. Oh, and we looked at him. We're like, <laughs> yeah, we're like, like oh, come right, on. Team, we're like, all right, this team might, might be doing <laughs> something. But it, it kind of had that feeling for Jets fans, I'd imagine. Kind of like I had for Notre Dame this weekend on Saturday. When watching Sam Hartman just complete a little like 12-yard out route, perfect pass to the sideline, getting first downs, it's something that we haven't seen for so long as Irish fans. Jets fans are probably watching that game saying, like, oh my God, this is what a quarterback looks like. And it's not that Rodgers did anything that spectacular. It's just when you get average to good quarterback play in, on these quarterback-starved franchises— it, it just it looks unbelievable, and it gets you, gives, gives you hope, and that's really all we can ask for. If Aaron Rodgers plays, say, 20% worse than his MVP season in 2021, he will be their best quarterback since that Brett, those Brett Favre years. He, he, he will probably be the best quarterback ever for the Jets if he plays 20% below that. Oh, absolutely. Because, like, I mean, Aaron Rodgers at an, at an MVP level, what we've seen in the past is – you can argue one of the best quarterbacks to ever play. Yeah, I mean, a fifth of what he can do there, that's the j- best Jets could be in the history of, of <laughs> their franchise. Let me ask you, Ziggy, moving on from Rodgers, because, again, small sample size, but you have to like what you saw if you were a Jets fan. 